Okay, so um, it's come to my attention in the uh, Pokemon CC Discord that a lot of people don't have a lot of experience with joy 2 and that maybe they're getting fatigued um, trying to watch a bunch of guides to understand the ins and outs. And, you know, so, I mean, to be fair, some of these menus, they, they are a little intimidating when you're met with a, with a big screen like that. So I'm just going to quickly uh, go over just very basic setup for joy 2 um, so that you can use it in uh, Pokemon CC. So... Right now I have my controller plugged in. It is, uh, of course, not reading any inputs that I'm doing on my controller right now. Um, so to change that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to Option. And uh, first thing that you want to do is go into Game and just make sure that this joystick function is off. Um, the native joystick function does uh, cause frame rate drops. A lot of people report that. So we're going to just go ahead and make sure that that is unchecked. And then we're going to click OK there. And then... Uh, you might be tempted to go into joystick, but once again, we are not going to be using the uh, native joystick function. We're going to be using joy to key or if you have a similar program you're comfortable with, uh, you can go and do that. So we're going to go into keyboard and right here for player one and for player two. But, you know, for my purposes right now, I'm doing single player so we can just read the default controls for player one. Obviously, our movement here and then um, our three main buttons are going to be the A, B and A. It says V here, and uh, I'm uh, using the Pokemon CC Demo 00C, uh, 003C, forgive me. Um, so as we can see, they are J, K, and L. So this key, A, is going to be your normal attacks, B is going to be your special attacks, and uh, this one right here, C or V, I, I suppose in this case, will be your, uh, at the moment, it's parries and throws. So just uh, open up your joy to key right here. Obviously, I already have a profile I've set up, but... Here I have a fresh one. Um, if your controller is plugged in and being detected by Windows when you move your sticks around, press some buttons, um, it will indicate the button ID or the stick ID of what exactly that input is, um, you know, in this program so that you can kind of figure out which button feels good for a potential function and, you know, mess with things uh, as you want to. So obviously what we're going to do is we're going to need to set up our stick for movement so in this case, WASD. Um, what I like to do for this, so I don't need to individually click it and then, you know, uh, bind the key to the particular movement direction, which you're of course welcome to do, but I personally don't like doing it, is I just click the bulk assignment wizard, stick one left, I'm going to do A, stick one right, D, stick one up, W, stick one down, S. And then I'm going to click finish. So that'll be, uh, you know, some of the, more difficult, or kind of the more tedious aspect of it kind of done. So now we're going to kind of more closely tune uh, what I'm going to do. Let's just say that you wanted to bind uh, button one, which on my controller is the A button, to the corresponding A button for your normals. All you're going to do, click that button, and then you're going to put, in this case, J is the keyboard key that corresponds to the A input. So we're going to go and put J and just click OK. You can ignore literally everything else on that screen. Let's say button two, the B button on my controller is what I want to be the specials function, which in this case on my keyboard is K. So I can just simply double click that one more time. Once again, just going to be looking at this uh, highlighted box right here. So we can go ahead and put K. Don't need to do anything else in any of these tabs or in any of these fields unless you're a little bit more familiar or want, um, for some reason, want it to function in a very, very specific way. Um, but yeah, and then... Uh, what I actually like doing for my C is I like binding them to my bumpers because I'm a, I'm a smash player, a filthy smash player. So we can go ahead and just uh, take, in this case, the L key on my keyboard, and I'm going to bind that to button five. Once again, L. So do not use these letters above the actual keys because those are simply uh, what the input does in the context of the game. You're going to be looking for these guys right here. If you're using... Um, a controller function then you shouldn't really have to change these at all because no matter what they are it'll be the same um for using joy to key but if for some reason you do change your controls for use with keyboard for example if you wanted a to just be i don't know let's say you wanted it to be c well now it's c so you obviously would need to reflect that change in this and uh yeah that's pretty much it